Hello there. On this video we're going to have a look at TIG welding, which stands for Tungsten Inert Gas Welding. Uh, it's very similar to MIG welding in that we're using uh, an inert gas. Uh, the plant over here you can see, and this is our gas cylinder here, and in this case we've got argon, which is an inert gas that we use predominantly with uh, aluminium. Uh, it's most closely related, however, to gas welding because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a separate filler rod just like we do with the uh, oxyacetylene, uh, which is the same material as the material we're going to be welding uh, and um, creating a molten pool and dipping our filler rod into that. So if we have a look at the plant, so as I say, this is tungsten inert gas welding. So we have our, our gun here, which has our tungsten tip. Uh, which is a non-consumable tip, in other words it will, uh, it will not wear away although you do have to replace it every once in a while. Uh, that will create an arc between uh, the tip and the, the molten pool. Um, you've also got your, uh, your sleeve here with your inert gas that comes out and just like in MIG welding that's shrouding the weld uh, and stop it getting contaminated uh, with the atmosphere. So that's our, our gun. The way that it's controlled, you can either control it with a button on here like you did with the MIG welding, or you can use, which is a much better way, there's a, a foot pedal underneath uh, which you can use just like a, a bit like a sewing machine pedal really, so that the further you push it down, the higher the power or the ampage output. Uh, so TIG welding is ideal for welding aluminium, uh, it's ideal for, for doing stainless uh, and mild steel as well. Um, so we have to have different filler rods. So we've got our mild steel filler rod here, uh, we've got our stainless uh, and we've got our aluminium. Uh, so just like in gas welding, uh, our arc uh, strikes up uh, and creates uh, a molten pool uh, and we run our weld by uh, dipping in the, the filler rod. So we're going to have a go at doing three of these. We're going to do one with mild steel, uh, one with aluminium and one with stainless steel. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, on this one we're going to have a go at uh, TIG welding some, some aluminium. So here we go. Okay, so we've got a separate filler rod, which is the same material as the aluminium sheet that uh, is being welded. You can see the filler rod being dipped into the, the molten pool. and that's TIG welding aluminium. Okay, now we're going to have a go at uh, TIG welding mild steel. Uh, and you should notice that it's absolutely quiet, whereas the aluminium one was uh, quite noisy. Again, you can see the filler rod being dipped into the molten pool. Okay, so that's TIG welding mild steel. Okay, now we're going to have a go at TIG welding stainless steel. So the filler rod's been changed to, uh, to, to a stainless filler rod. Okay, that's that finished. So that's TIG welding, tungsten inert gas welding.